Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic. Today we are back in the underwater base. First off, I want to thank you guys for all the love and support on the underwater base series. Uh, thank you guys for all the comments, all the suggestions. You guys have given me a lot of things to build, and that we have done here today. So we've got three new things to show you guys here. Uh, two of them were really highly requested, and we'll go through all that. You saw a little bit of it in the intro. But don't forget to comment below with more suggestions after we go through all the stuff here in the base uh, with new ideas that you would like to see done here in the base. But anyways, folks, remember if you're enjoying Scrap Mechanic, leave this video a thumbs up. It helps out my channel, and let's jump right into this. Okay, as always, we're going to start here at the top. I'm not going to go through all the stuff that we've done here in the base. I'm just going to go ahead and start up here. That way we can get an overview as we go down the elevator. Now, we've done nothing to the surface this episode. I'm going to eventually get around to doing some more stuff up here, but I've been so busy below the surface that I just have not had time to do it up here. So let's go ahead and close that. And we're going to go ahead and start heading down in the elevator. Now, you're going to notice the middle of the base has gotten quite huge. Uh, you can see there's a brand new building there in the middle. And over there to the right, we've got a brand new facility over there. We've also added quite a few more hallways. Uh, there's just a lot of things and a lot of directions this base is heading in. And I'm going to need some feedback from you guys, but... Anyways, we're going to travel down to the bottom here, and we're probably going to visit the new moon pool first. Oh, right, so we're down here in the first of the base here. Let's go ahead and start the airlock up, and wait for the doors to close here. There they go. Okay, so... This base has really expanded since the last time we've been down here. Uh, the first thing you're going to notice is that we now have signage all over the base. Uh, first off, I want to thank Mr. Scrubmaster for helping me out with this whole update here. Uh, he actually kind of came up with the signage. Now, you're going to see two sectors now. We have Sector B and Sector A. Sector A is morely our vehicle bays, our equipment, uh, maybe the moon pool over there. And there's going to be some other facilities over in Sector A. Now, Sector B is going to be mostly your living quarters and, like, the life pods from the last episode and any new things that we might add over there. Now, there's going to be a third sector, and it's going to be the main sector, so we might need to change up the lettering here, but the main sector actually leads over to the laboratory and stuff like that. So, anyways, let's go over to the loading bay, or actually, we're going to the moon pool. The loading bay is over here to the right. This from the last episode. It has the little uh, forklift over there. And over to the left, uh, this is the life pod. Uh, that, I kept calling the life pods our little apartment complex, but that's more like a living area. The life pods, those are our skate pods, so we've got those back here. So anyways, this was probably one of the most requested things that you guys wanted to see, and I actually didn't know what this was at first. When somebody said, hey, you need to build a moon pool, I kept thinking, a pool that looks like a moon? So yeah, I was a bit confused by that, and then I looked it up and I was like, oh, I know what a moon pool is. So, this is something you guys have been requesting. Now, I know we already have a vehicle garage, but this is the more legit way to launch vehicles from our base. Now, the garage, which is over there from the last episode, it's still useful. Uh, it's used for the forklift now. I know the roof opens up. We were going to launch this up from there, but the moon pool makes a whole lot more sense to launch the sub. So, let's go ahead and turn on the lights here. I probably need to add a blast door, or I call them blast doors, or some sort of airlock, probably right here. Uh, you see this crack. If you ever see cracks in the base, it's because I'm trying to avoid lag, uh, trying to avoid making this base one big object and trying to split it up a little bit. So if you see these little cracks, I do know they exist. So anyways, we we'll turn on the lights here. We've got the moon pool. So we've got two vehicles here. One is a new vehicle over here. This is a... Rover, we're going to go over the details of this one here in a second. So, moon pool. What a moon pool is, it's a, I would say either you can launch it from the bottom or say the launcher could be up from the top, but whatever it is, it's a platform or it could be arms that grab the vehicle and they lower it down in the water. So, this is actually, I'm simulating water down here. You can see the uh, glass and you can see the platform setting here. So, this over here is supposed to be the water. Now, when I first did this, I actually wanted to use the water block again to create a surface that we can go through, but the water block that I had to use has to be mounted by one block, so there's a one block 
uh, that can be collided with, so it was hard to lower vehicles through that without colliding with that block. So, I had to do this a different way. We've got the glass outside of the uh, little dock here that's supposed to be the water, and there's a glass layer below it to make it look like there's water below it. So, it does break the immersion a little bit, but it's not too bad. So, there's the sub from the last episode. This is now its loading dock over here. Uh, we're, of course, I said we're going to go over this vehicle over here. Uh, to do this, uh, you can either launch it from the platform. You can stand on it and hit the, uh, the lever over there. Or you can hit it over here. Let's go ahead and turn on the extra lights, the platform lights. There we go. And we can launch the vehicle. So we'll hit this switch here. And it's going to lower it. Now, you see the big opening. That's why I wanted to use the water block. That way the vehicle would just go through it and down. But like I said, with the collision, it made that really, really hard to do. So we can launch the vehicle that way. Let's go ahead and put it back up here. I also want to give you guys a little bit of a view as to what this actually looks like from back here. Now this looks pretty cool. Uh, I first used some Subnautica pictures uh, for, from their moon pool, but their moon pool was a lot smaller and it just looked like it launched a smaller sub. So I just thought, well, we got, we've got to make this thing massive, so we've got this big domed building here, which actually gives you quite a decent view of the base. Uh, you can see where we are relative to everything else, and there's the big platform and the elevator we just came down. So. Anyways, we are ready to launch a vehicle. Now, I've got these vehicles welded down. We're going to go ahead and stand on the platform over here. So, say we already have our wetsuit on. We're ready to go. Uh, we're going to walk over here, and we are going to lower ourselves into the water. So, here we go. There we go. And we are down in the water. Now, this new vehicle over here. Let's go ahead. Let's crack it off the lift here. Now, it's ready to go. I'm actually quite surprised that we're not getting much lag with these two objects interacting with each other. A lot of times when you have a heavy object in a lift, it just does not work well together. So let's climb up into this and let's go ahead and explore this vehicle a bit. Now ideally, you wouldn't be doing this underwater. You would have already been in the vehicle when you're lowered down, but uh, you kind of need a little bit of assistance to do that. So let's go ahead and climb in the cockpit here. And for vehicles that have wheels, of course, I built a little ramp back here that you can roll right off of. Now, if you're using the sub, you wouldn't have to worry about that. So anyways, let's go ahead and explore this vehicle. All right, let's get that lift back up there. Okay, so here's our new vehicle. Let's go over the description here. This is actually made by somebody that we covered a long time ago. His name is Sir Honey Badger. I, I think it was probably, it had to been at least a year ago since we last covered him. Uh, he sent us something called the Land Battleship, and I did an episode on it a long time ago, and I really haven't heard from him since. But yeah, uh, it kind of surprised me when he emailed me and he created something. This might have already been created by the time uh, that I saw it, or the, by the time he saw the last couple episodes, but this was something he had and he wanted to show us here. Now this is called the Nautical Scavenger. This beast is a manned underwater vehicle or MUV designed to traverse the ocean floor mining for minerals using a diamond tip drill along with a claw to pick up any loose loot. So yeah, he's got a real big explanation here as to what it is, kind of uh, his little story or backstory that he wrote up for it, which is actually kind of really cool to see. So yeah, this is the Nautical Scavenger. It does look like it's uh, using some mod parts. It appears maybe like it's only using some of the Durf parts. Uh, I think he's got that all in his workshop, which I'll link that down in the description. He's also got a YouTube channel if you want to check that out. Uh, but yeah, let's hop up into here. This was something that I was wanting to uh, create, which I still think I'm going to create my own. Uh, but this just kind of fit perfectly with the moon pool. So I figured let's go ahead and look at this thing real quick. So... Uh, yeah, we probably wouldn't be doing this underwater. We probably would have already been in it uh, from there. But let's go ahead and lower back down into here. And we're ready to go. So we're going to climb into the front here. Uh, we're going to hit the one key that's going to close the hatch. This is a cool little rover. I actually really like the way this looks. He's got the lights going. Uh, you got like the timer lights uh, flashing up the side. I believe we can light this whole thing up. Let's see. Uh, no, there we go. All right, so that's the sixth key. So yeah, if we were to mine down here, which uh, that's actually something that I thought about doing, like maybe creating almost like an underwater cliff or something. Uh, I thought that would be very awesome, and maybe we can actually pretend like we're mining, or we can do some sort of facility like that. Uh, maybe we'll do that away from the base. But yeah, you've got the one key is the hatch, two key kind of extends these drills outward, the uh, three key does it inward. 
And so you've got like a drill, <laughs> which it actually, uh, it looks, it looks unique. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. So I'm assuming it just kind of chips away at the, uh, the rock uh, to get the, the minerals or the diamonds, whatever you're actually mining. So you've got that and you've got like a little claw that extends out and you can grab the material. So it's definitely an awesome creation. I really like just the way it looks. It kind of reminds me of a mixture of a moon rover and some sort of underwater vehicle. And I know you don't typically see too many underwater vehicles that uh, I guess actually drive on the ocean floor. Uh, normally it's some sort of sub, but I just thought this would be neat to have. So yeah, you can do that. Uh, it will also, I checked it, it does fit in the garage. So if you'd like to drive it into there, you can of course store uh, this creation over there. But yeah, definitely go check out his workshop. I just wanted to use this vehicle as an example for the moon pool. So let's go ahead and drive back up and we'll load this thing back up in the moon pool. All right, so we are loaded and ready to go. Let's go ahead and go up here and store this back in the moon pool. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little moon pool. I think it came out actually pretty good here. So let's go ahead and flick off the lights. Got to save that power. And we are ready to go into the next section of the base that we built. So we're going to travel down this way. We're going to follow the signs. We're going to pass by the escape pod or the life pod. And we're going to go down, which I need to name the sector. I'm not really sure what it's going to be yet. I'm still actually looking for a name for the base. Uh, that's something you guys started to suggest, but I haven't like formally like said, all right, this is what we're calling it, or uh, we're going to do some sort of vote, but we're still looking for a name there. So, we've added new hallways. Now, if you remember from the last episode, it was just, we would go down to the garages, and we would go down to the apartment buildings. Well, now we're actually starting to stretch outward. Instead of going from the right and to the left, we're actually going down to our main facilities. Now, you guys, and you guys raised a, a very valid point. What is this facility actually used for? So, we're going to pass by the recreation area. Uh, we actually have a research lab. This is one of the many uses of the facility. Now, we're going to have other things that you can do here, other jobs, but research is going to be probably our top priority. So, I have built the much-requested laboratory here. So, it looks pretty awesome. You can actually walk around the front here. It's got this front glass. Uh, you've got more outward glass that aims, uh, you can see out in the ocean. Actually, you can kind of see into the new recreation area, which we'll, ch we'll cover that last here. So, yeah, you can walk around it completely. Uh, and then you see where the hallways stretch out. And this is where we're going to build more stuff onto the back of the base. Uh, we're actually elevated quite high over in this section. So, anyways, all the scientists can come up here. Uh, I've got a little key card, kind of a security system over here on the wall. So you'll stick your hand on, and there you go. You can come into the lab. Now, I don't really know all what's going on here in the lab. I, I know I've seen some strange occurrences as far as the video. I've heard of some people spotting bodies and I don't really know what's up with that. Uh, somebody said there was a body in the bush last time. I might have to go look at that, but we're going to go ahead and ignore that. So anyways, all right, so we're going to do a brief overview of the lab in here. So we've got tons of things going on. Now, this isn't just a lab for one thing like plant life or underwater life this is just kind of a variety of things uh, nobody really knows exactly what we're researching down here uh, it could be things for good and bad purposes I'm not a hundred percent sure uh, what I do know we've got several experiments several exhibits set up uh, this in here this is the I guess we're gonna call these the secret plants scrap man spotted these I believe in his terrain update video and it's a plant that a lot of times you only see on the mountain. I uh, kind of think that they might be incorporated into survival mode. Maybe there's some sort of special plant. But we have them here. We're experimenting on them. They're glowing. Uh, they might be dangerous. We've got a couple more over in these uh, containers here. You've got the little death symbol signs up there. Uh, overall, the lab's just kind of an area where we can observe these. Uh, maybe they're growing more. Maybe they can be used for some sort of purpose. I'm not 100% sure. So we've got those. Uh, we've got a little work area over here for the uh, scientist. Uh, it's got a little desk over here. Obviously, access is denied. We can't get into that. Uh, now, this is actually a cool part, and I don't know if I've ever pointed this out to you guys. Uh, this is the security monitors in Durf's pack. Now, Durf talked to me a long time ago when I was building the prison, 
and he said, can I use a couple images from the prison to put on these security monitors? And I completely forgot about them. So let me go ahead and put one of these down real quick. Uh, let's put it right there. Look really close. That is actually the main gate on the prison. That's really cool, and it's just something I forgot that he did. Uh, this is actually a logic gate, so when you change it, it actually changes to different pictures. So you get just different pictures of the prison. So I just thought that was something that was really neat. Uh, these actually, I think, match up with some of the security cameras in there. And I thought I'd just point that out. It's like a little Easter egg for you guys. So yeah, you've got that uh, over here. Uh, we've got a couple little beds. Maybe we can do some experiments on not humans, or maybe we're doing it on humans, not sure. But yeah, you can lay into these. Uh, you can lay in here, hit the one key, close it up. There you go. I uh, don't want to say this is for medical purposes. Of course, we need to eventually build a sick bay, but maybe we're doing some sort of experiments down here with that. So you've got that. Uh, possibly we're doing some sort of weapon experiments down here. There's always a shiny red button here that we can click. And oh, <laughs> a little bit of a laser beam there. So yeah, that's something we could be researching down here. I'm not 100% sure, so you got that. Uh, I got a couple tables set up in here uh, from the middle. Looks like we have some batteries uh, being tested out here. Uh, it's just all sorts of gizmos and gadgets. I'm not uh, really, like I like science, but as far as experiments and stuff, I was just like, I need to look at pictures on Google Images and try to figure out uh, what I'm actually looking at or what these experiments that I'm seeing going on in these images and just try to replicate those and maybe make it look somewhat realistic. So. I think Scrub Master actually did this little thing here. This is actually really neat looking with the timers. So yeah, you've got that. Uh, last thing we have over here is kind of a skeleton of some sea life that we've found here on the ocean floor. Now, you're probably wondering what that is. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce it. It's something Scrub Master came up with that's actually in Latin, I believe. So you might Google that and try to figure out what that actually means. I might have to have him explain that. But yeah, we've got a little... Uh, skeleton of some sort of sea monster that maybe we found and decided to study a little bit. That actually looks pretty cool with the pipes. So yeah, we've got that. Uh, that's pretty much it for this lab. Now I do want to do like a outward research lab. Uh, eventually I want to go maybe to the other side of the map or something where you would have to traverse by vehicle and or train to uh, to get to that. And maybe we'll have another little research lab. But I just kind of wanted to do a general lab here for you guys and just kind of have it here in the center. That way we can have some sort of purpose to this whole facility. So we can just exit out the side here. Uh, like I said, if you look back there, that's where this little these little tunnels end and that's where the construction zones are and we're going to go ahead and build some more stuff. So let's head back this way. Now, there's another little area here for anybody that's on duty working here in the station. Uh, this is like a recreation area. So you can come down here, take a load off. Uh, this is just something that is a possibility of what we can do in the base. We kind of wanted to touch on everything this episode. So you got some work, uh, you got some more vehicles, and you have something for the living quarters. Uh, I know we still have to do some sort of food area, like cafeteria or something like that. But we have like a little area here. Let's go ahead and make sure all the lights are on. There we go. So this is like a little recreation area. I actually think it looks really cool. This is something uh, Scrub Master was working on uh, quite a bit while I was doing the lab. And it's just a little domed area. You can come in here, take a load off, uh, set back, watch some TV. Uh, you got a little pool table over here using the Durf little pool balls. So that's pretty cool looking. You got that. You got some... Uh, Shelves here for books in the back. You got some ping pong going on over here. Uh, of course, uh, you're probably going to be working some long hours here in the uh, underwater base. You might need to drink some coffee, so you've got a coffee machine over there. And you just got a little sitting area over here. That way, if you want to enjoy some non existent dinner, that of course we need to work on. So, I need to eventually build a kitchen, but we'll get around to that uh, probably in the next couple of episodes. Alright, so we've got that. That's the recreation area. We've got the lab area. Like I said, this is in the central sector. I don't know what we're going to call it. That might be need to be sector A, and maybe sector B will be to the right, and sector C, we'll change it to sector C, will be here to the left. Uh, like I said, we did name everything. You've got all, these, all the signage here that shows like where everything is. So you've got the quarters over here, or the living quarters, and then the uh, life pods are here at the end. 
So we've got another section over here. I do know, like I said, we need to build some more stuff for the people to survive on. We need uh, some, like a bathroom, washroom area. I mentioned that last episode, so we will get around to doing that. But we got three pretty good sized things done here. Now I will have the latest update for this base down in the description. Uh, I do always keep the mods listed down there too, so if you'd like to download this and play by yourself or play with your friends, uh, you're more than welcome to do that. But yeah, I think we're going to take the elevator up to the surface and we're going to wrap up this episode. Alright, so we're back here at the surface. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys one more little view. This is going to be kind of dangerous to stand on this. Going to show you once again the outline of the big base below. So like I said, we've got a lot of stuff done here today. I am still taking suggestions for new creations from you guys. Uh, stuff you want to see built here, uh, maybe areas, vehicles. Uh, we do have a pretty big sub coming. I've been in talks with somebody and uh, we will have a big sub and I need to build a big sub area because uh, it's going to take something really big to house it. So uh, that's next on the agenda. We've got a couple other things that I'm looking at. So comment below with suggestions if you'd like to send anything to the channel uh, for the underwater base. I've got a couple things backed up. Uh, that I need to look at. I know I have some wind turbines. I think I even was sent like a sunken ship uh, that we might eventually be able to use but I wanted to go ahead and knock out these facilities first and we'll probably knock out some more next episode and we might look at uh, maybe some of those creations you sent after that. But anyways folks I want to thank you guys for all the love and support on the underwater base series. It's been fantastic. Uh, if you like to like and subscribe Everything helps my channel. I will have the other episodes in a playlist if you would like to check those out. But anyways, folks, hope you have a great day, and we will see you guys next time in Scrap Mechanic. Thank you.